Without a doubt, you should be familiar with the double integral and its uses to find volume of solids. So for today, we're going to go through two very typical finding volume problems. Now, when we want to find the volume of a solid, the solid can be defined in a lot of ways. You know, it can be bounded below and above by different surfaces and obviously the region R. So I'm not saying that these two examples are confirmed going to come up in whatever problems that you may encounter, but they're two very typical ones and it's good that we go through the thought processes in solving them. Okay. So a, a problem is going to be phrased like this. Find the volume of the tetrahedron bounded by the coordinate planes and the plane z equals to 4 take away 4x take away 2y. Now sometimes it can be written in another form, sometimes it can be a surface, okay, but this time, yes, it is a surface, but because of the form of the equation, it gives us a plane. So it seems that we do not have that much information from the problem. After all, it's a tetrahedron bounded by coordinate planes and an uh, equation of a plane. But we can still proceed in finding the volume of whatever that object is, this tetrahedron. So how do we go about doing it? Now, one way you can graph it out, and I think it's best that you know we should be able to visualize what is the solid or the volume of the solid that we want to find. So what's this equation over here? Well, I say against the equation on a plane and I graph that nicely for you to the right. Now, if you don't have any graphing techniques, I'm just going to tell you right now, you should know that the equation of a plane would take this form. So ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to zero. So basically, it's just rearranging that. Now, a very quick method is that we always find the point along the z-axis when x and y equals to zero. So set this equals to zero, z equals to four, okay? Then next, you, what you will do is that you'll set z and y equals zero to get the, the point along the x-axis. So in this case, if we do that, x is equals to one, do the same for y, and this is what we have. All right, so remember, we want to find the tetrahedron bounded by this equation over here, which is, again, an equation of plane and the coordinate planes. All right, so what do we know about equations of planes or basically um, yeah, equations of planes in general? They extend infinitely further away, okay? As in, you got the space, you got the plane, and they extend infinite amount. So what this question is telling us or asking us to do is that we extend these planes in finite directions along the x, along the y, and along the z, and it will somehow intersect the coordinate planes, okay? Well, I hope that makes sense. In this case, it does. As you can see over here, I've drawn the portion of the plane that is already cut by the coordinate planes. What is the coordinate planes? Well, very easy. Set x equals to zero, we get the z y coordinate plane. So as you can see, the, the plane is cut by this coordinate plane over here. Okay, um, set z equals zero, we got the x and y coordinate plane. Okay, and set y equals zero, we got the x and z coordinate plane. So what we want to do is that we want to find this volume that we have right here. Okay, this volume that we have. So, now, we use the double integral. What does the double integral tell us? Integrate the surface, okay, in this case is the surface of a plane that is bounded by the surface, all right, and the region R. So as you can see over here, when it intersects the coordinate planes, there is a region R. Region R is always on the X and Y plane. So, you know, yes, there, you know, the, it seems like, you know, the, the, we can describe the, the volume, the solid in a lot of ways, but it doesn't matter because the surface is what we have over here and we've got region R. So let's get to work. What I've done is that I've translated region R over here. Now, obviously, we know the equation of this line, okay? Basically, it's Y equals to zero. All right, y equals zero is this line over here, and this, this line, what we have, that is x equals to zero. So what is key in solving this problem is finding the equation of this line. Okay, as you can see, region R is bounded by this line we have here, which is not a problem, okay, because well, basically it's along the x-axis. We did this line and this line over here. So what is the equation of this line? Take a look at it. We get that by intersecting the plane with the x and y axis. Okay, I hope you can see that the plane extends out. We intersect in the x and y axis. How do we get that? Well, basically, the x and y axis is when z is equals to zero. So we just set that inside this equation over here. Let, okay, let me get another pen. Let z equals to zero. And then what we have, we get four take away four x take away two y equals zero. We arrange, arrange that. What we will have is that we will get y equals to two take away two x. Okay, so that means that, you know, what I have done here is that I basically just mapped out this region R onto an X and Y plane, right? So this is Y equals to 2 take away 2X. And then now we're in business. All you have to do is just apply the, the steps that I told you. We want to describe region R, extend a line, go down. What's this line? This line is Y take away 0. What's this line up there? The line is Y equals to 2X, 2 take away 2, 2X. Bring it to the left, we get X equals to 0, not a problem. Bring it to the right, we get X equals to 1. So writing it formally, we want to find the double integral 
what's the function? Basically, it's the function of the surface, or in this case, the plane. Basically, it's over there. This defined uh, in terms of x and y, but it's defined for z, right? So always be sure of that. 4, take away 4x, take away 2y over the region R, dA, elementary area A. Now, we will use a type 1 region to describe region R, and what we have is integrate 0 to 1 in terms of the x, uh, with respect to x, and then we'll integrate from 0 to 2, take away 2x, retain the function, because that is what we are finding the double integral of, dy and dx. And after that, what you can do is just go through formally the calculation 0 to 1, and then we have 4 y integrating partially with respect to y, uh, take away y squared, and then you put in the limits as y equals 0 to take away 2x, and integrate that later in terms of x, and what we'll have is 4 divided by 3. Alright, and that is where you have the answer. Just think about it, think of it as a plane. We know we, we want to bound the solid by the coordinate planes. That is very easy to do, as you can see here. Find region out, describe region out, and there you go.